the before and the after. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to finally review the new Revlon One Step Air Straight. Now I reviewed the whole entire Revlon One Step collection. If you guys want to see that playlist, I'll have it up here and also in my end card. So I actually got this when it originally came out. So I've been testing it out for close to a month now. Now I don't straighten my hair too often, which is why it took me a while. And I also just wanted to have a really good idea of how to use this, the pros and cons, my final thoughts, and how I use this in my hair routine. This costs $79.99. It's the new two-in-one dryer and straightener, leaves hair feeling healthy and soft. Go from damp to straight using one tool, the One Step Air Straight from Revlon. First, let's get into some of the features. We have the 1.4 ceramic plates and teeth, which is really nice. I do recommend brushing your hair beforehand because this will get caught in your hair especially if you deal with tangle there's six settings which is the most I've seen out of all their tools which was really cool I wasn't expecting that let's start from the left to the right the first one is lock so it stays closed and you can travel with and just store it easier. The second one is off. So that's where it's open. No air is coming out. It's not hot at all. The third one is cool shot, which you're not hearing any air. And that's because I haven't clamped them together yet. Which is really cool because whenever you put it down or maybe your arm is getting tired, it's just not constantly blowing air. So I really like that feature. So now getting to the heat settings, we have low. and high. And then the last two, we have the styling settings. So the first one is heat and air. But the last one is more heat, no air. You can see the light is on. Obviously, you're not gonna hear anything. I can tell that it's getting warmer. For anyone who's new here, I have 2B curls, so it's like, a soft wave. I'm just gonna put one side up just to show a side by side. Now my hair is getting dry pretty quickly, so I might just dampen it a little bit. But first I'm going to brush it out, make sure I don't have any tangles. I'm gonna add a little bit of leave-in conditioner from Curl Smith, and then some heat protecting spray from Verb. I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of water, more so on my ends. Again, I don't really wanna have damp hair, with any of the Revlon One Steps, you don't really want damp hair. I would say more like towel dry. And then I'm gonna section off my hair one more time. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. And so you guys can see the sections that I'm doing. I'm gonna start off with a small section. I've learned, especially with straighteners, whether it's something like this or more of your traditional straightener, the smaller sections, the better, especially if you have more texture, just to make it easier for you and also get the best results. So I'm gonna show you guys the highest setting on my hair first. Again, it's nice that the air isn't blowing while I'm trying to prep my hair and get my sections ready. Parking lot downtown, roll around, look and roll, acting like we on one. Couple ties, yeah, synthetic, whole squad, split, single cigarette, some cheap vodka. Thinking about way back when, can't take it from the best, no problem. Which is not bad, not completely smooth, but just doing it once on wavy hair. A little frizzy, but you can see it's not as wavy. So let's try it one more time. I remember skating down, playing for you today. Pop the gap, now we easy. Don't play no time in this set. Say no more, got me dead. Sitting on, playing for you today. See the difference from my dry straight hair to my natural wavy air dried hair but i personally don't like using the highest setting on any of the revlon tools or just any hot tools in general i typically go with medium just because i personally with my hair texture i don't think it's necessary to go with the highest setting we're gonna go through this first section one more time where we're gonna use the heat and the air it's definitely straighter than just using the fan but it's not the straightest when comparing it to your traditional straightener another indicator where you can tell if you're using the fan or the heat is actually the light so this white light is for the fan and then if you if you twist to the heat and like the styling it has the orange and the white light together i'm going to do this section just speed it up and then at the end once i'm done with this side i'm going to go with the heat styling just that to just really finish it all off Got 
me days Sitting on pain for you to And I don't ever wanna come off the wave Try to catch me if you can, I'm escape Oh yeah Speeding out pain for Had it in me all the way back since so six It was AP, GAC, yeah, the old clay Skating with the jokers, living life like it was poker Always rolling up the dice like it was something we was token not bad as you can see i had to go through it quite a few times yeah i'm just going to brush through it it is a little frizzy especially right here the ends pretty good now i'm gonna go in with the higher heat setting with no air i think this is something that people aren't talking enough about at least the videos that i've watched when you do the setting you want it to heat up just like a regular traditional straightener how you wait for it to get hot you want to do the same thing. This already feels a lot warmer compared to if you're doing just air or heat and air. Again, smaller sections like before. Whoa, can you guys see the difference? How straight this is compared to this side. Look how pin straight this is compared to this side. This side almost looks like it's poofy and frizzy when you see the before and after. Now, because this straightener is thicker than your traditional one, it is harder to get at the root. So if you have wavier hair than me, curlier hair than me, just more texture towards the root, it's going to be hard to get a really nice smooth like root, if that makes any sense. So this is as close as I can get to my root. It works for me because I have wavy hair and my curl pattern really doesn't start until like closer to my eyebrows. This last step is so important if you really want just smooth straight hair and it to have that look of using your traditional straightener but without actually using it and getting another tool. I'm going to finish the back side and I'll be right back. The before and the after. Not bad. I will say the hardest thing to get, and I feel like this is for a lot of people, is the back of our heads, like right here, which is where my hair can get pretty wavy. It's so hard, and I can tell it's a little more poofy compared to my front pieces. Like just a little more. It's coming out a little more. But my ends, they look pretty good. Now, I did just get a haircut like not even a month ago. But overall, this side looks really nice. It's still, again, a little frizzy right here, my trouble areas. Not the straightest my hair has ever been, but I do like the results. I'm gonna do this side off camera and then I'm gonna show you guys how my hair looks completely straight and then we'll get into the pros and cons and my final thoughts. This is what my hair looks like completely straight. There is minimal frizz. Honestly, if I go in with some hairspray and a little bit of hair oil, I think that would fix that. Overall, I really do like the results. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. I have a couple pros. The main one are the settings. There's just so many, whether you just want air, whether you want heat and air, or you just want heat. It's just really nice that it's just in one hot tool, which is the reason why a lot of us love the Revlon One Step collection. I also like how you don't have to constantly hear the fan going on. I don't know about you guys. I like to listen to things when I style my hair, especially like podcasts. And when you hear a fan going on, even if you wear any headphones, it's just nice when you can just listen to something on its own. Let's jump into the cons. The main con for me, especially for someone who doesn't have a really great grip strength, I would say that's probably my weakness in life is my grip strength. This is really hard to clamp down. Because of the bulky size compared to your traditional straightener, where I typically don't have problems with my hand, this, my hand gets so tired. After I finished both sides, I was like, oh my gosh, my hand, I just need a break. It was so strained. And because you have to go through your hair multiple times, and for me, I did the hottest setting, then I did heat and air, and then I went with just heat. I'm doing this so many times to get this result that my hands are just so tired. For me, that's the main con. If you are expecting this, to be pin straight silky hair, you are not gonna get that with this product. It's gonna give you more of like a blowout straight look, if you guys know what I mean. Like those are two different things. Whenever I go to the salon or even just for myself, there's like two straight looks. There's like the blowout straight look, which is more like this, or the really pin straight silky your hair is like thinnest paper look you know what i mean typically when i straighten my hair which is not very often i go for more of that pin straight look and to achieve that i gotta go in with a straightener now the next con which is going to affect people with more texture curlier hair this is not going to work for your root you're just not gonna get close enough and you're going to deal with more frizz than me someone who has wavy hair 
up here in the crown. It's just not gonna look as smooth. And my last con relating to the con before that is it's hard for me to get this section right here. And I love using the Revlon Plus because those bristles just work so well when you have coarse hair textured hair because it just really grips onto the hair versus these teeth you're just getting a different effect which i understand i feel like you probably wouldn't be able to use the same teeth from the original or the plus to go with the strainer i feel like that wouldn't work and it would just melt so i do understand why they use this style of teeth i just can't get that tension that i need overall thoughts i do like this it is probably the one product that i use the least out of the whole collection one, because I don't straighten my hair very often. And two, I don't know. When I go for a straight look, I want pin straight hair. You know what I mean? Also, even though I didn't time this for you guys, this takes about me from start to finish, towel dry hair to straight hair, about an hour. Because of the amount of times I have to go through my hair, sectioning it off, using just like really small sections to make sure I can get as much of the texture out. Oh, my <laughs> boob just entered. Hi, boo. I don't want her to touch this since this is still a little hot. For me, it takes about an hour and that would be more or less the same, maybe a little bit less if I use the Revlon Plus and then gone in with your traditional straightener. But I hope this review was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content and definitely check out my other hair videos. I'll see you in another video. Bye.